Good evening. My name is Penal Talukar. Once again, I am in front of you with one more episode of the fine talking something political and this time we'll be talking about the Muslim politics of Assam after the 2024 Lok Sabha election with a complete rejection, boycott and rout of AIUDF as well as Aswan. The Muslim voice has completely polarized for us Congress. Why it has happened? What will be the impact? in 2000 Unisys election and all these factors I'm going to discuss with my friend um, Professor of IIM Kashipur, Baharul Islam. Welcome to my show Mr. Baharul Islam. Thanks for joining Thanks, all sir. the way from there and uh, nice actually I missed you for a long time over this election. Anyway, I yes. will be constantly also running a few slides. Uh, those slides are basically things which we are going to discuss as well as we want your expert opinion because I know you're both not only you have been both excellent academician from both I am Karsipur and abroad but also you have a you know the Muslim politics and you actively participated at one point of your uh, life. So first uh, this is the graphics which I am saying this is a AUDF if you see in 2014 14.8 now it has come down to 3.13 it is so less so devastating. Yesterday I was speaking to the AOD of Organizational Joint Secretary Aminul Islam. He said it was unthinkable. So he had resigned from the politics, not party, but from the post, and is hopeful of doing something more. If we come back to some of the graphics, one is that uh, if you see these are the Muslim constituencies now in Assam. Let's go from the start actually. Let uh, we will start from the first one. And the first is a destruction of and complete destruction of Asmol and AUDF in this election. Congress really played this game well. And the Muslims, probably for the security all over India, has sided with Congress. This time, no difference in Assam also. Uh, the question is after Asmol, who is the next they will for BJP? Because BJP always in, was in, in use polarized politics, and after them, Asmol was a kind of a devil. They created so that they can attract the non Muslim uh, voters of Upper Assam and the rest of Assam. Same question I am again putting up in the fourth, but is Mr. Rakibul Hussein so who defeated Asmul in such a huge margin will be the next devil for the BJP? Or is he going to be a secret weapon in 2026 assembly election? Can Asmul actually make a comeback even after this kind of humiliation and election? Remember, it was 33 assembly constituencies Muslim dominated. Couple of years back, now after demarcation, it is down to 23. Although it is says 26, but this time I counted, it is 23, and this is a breakup. Over to uh, Baharul, what do you see? What is your first take on this up the Muslim politics of Assam? Because it has been a central for so long, but no longer it is now a central. Okay, thank you, Talukar. You have highlighted uh, some of the major issues which are we are discussing all over particularly in academia, the Assam election with various political science and other, uh, you know, cephalologists who are looking at that. Uh, one thing, uh, for the timing of our discussion, yes, immediate reference is you can say Muslim politics in Assam, but if you study the larger political movement of any minority community, anywhere, I am taking a liberty of saying anywhere, even in Europe or in any community, black Americans in, you know, in USA, Hindus in Bangladesh, minority communities politically react in this way. They mostly, they cannot have political power by a kind of proactive, positive, uh, you can say, positive uh, uh, mechanization or political activity. What they try to do basically to hang on to some kind of protective which gives it a real or pseudo protection from political deprivation or you can say political oppression. So what Muslims in Assam has been responding to Dhubri for example or to our Assam says it. Presently we are referring them to as an UDF, non-UDF going back to Congress but for a long time it is the left bastion. Most of the left uh, Electoral, uh, you know, legislative yeah. assembly came from that no, area. Not, not like a, even the day, Dubri and Lok Sabha constituencies assembly segments and not one, two associate representatives for some assembly. Uh, Professor Jainal Abedin, my father's colleague in the assembly, 
uh, so basically what we are looking at now is a kind of a reaction to last 10 years of uh, you can say a kind of fear psychosis which has developed now when you play with fear in politics it can work two ways right now we are having a fear like right uh, right wing parties are winning parliamentary elections european parliament election for example so all over the world you can say every muslim or minority community person is thinking about what it means for the minority muslims living in europe similarly yeah european election le pen had won so much of say that that forced macron to go for a uh, uh, snap election yeah. even just before the olympic so two ways the minority communities have been recorded in research, two ways they react. One, they hang on to powers which can give them that, uh, the kind of protections which they feel okay. Second reaction is which Parsis and Jews have done is that they diminish their political identity. They almost nil. Nobody knows Smithy Rani is a wife of a Parsi gentleman. <laughs> so we have to think about that which reactions the Assamis, Assam's Muslim populations, the voters, the citizens, they are reacting. So they are still dwindling between these two. What Ajmal has done, politically he has gone down for various reasons and we will come to those discussions. These are very, uh, very brightly marked. These are nothing to be, uh, no, no kind of, you can say, nuclear physics research, you can find it out. But what he has done is that we have, they have given a kind of push to the educational sensibility or educational upliftment of the cabinet. So you can see when we have uh, eight cabinet ministers, Muslim cabinet ministers or ministers in the cabinet, we used to have what? 12, 13, 14 civil service. This year it is 54. The cabinet is yeah. going back to the places uh, where they want to go. The, the kind of craze I have seen in Badarpur. I could not find a house for my so-called, uh, you know, potential political campaign for two months. Because the Badarpur is full of all houses are rented by people. They have all career launchers, Admiral Super 40. Everybody from Barak Valley goes to Badarpur for preparing for this. So in my own family, larger family, poor people. So, uh, so I can see that there is a political disillusionment with UDF. It will go to the other side now. It will swing to the other side to the Congress for the time being. And take it for noted, very soon this will, there, there will be a counter disillusionment soon. But only ray of hope that the people move towards education, employment, skill, to survive in a modern society, you need skill, you need education, which can give you bread. And I you think because right. We, I'm very grateful to you that you have rightly touched this point. Not many people try to touch it. But I have seen a tremendous arrows of the minority of or vis a vis Muslim community, basically, American Muslim community, for an educational uplift. I have seen them in the legislative legal service, in the judicial service, in the civil service, and you see the need score. That, that, that a large amount of people actually come out from the Asmo's own stable. Yes. It has created, Atman might have uh, sparked it, but now it has gone into the community. People have known that if I have the skill, I will survive. I will survive either here, if there is a political discrimination here, I will get a job somewhere. Very recently, from a personal experience, my daughter got yes. admission into the National Law University, Patiala. So for two months, we are just worried how a girl from Assam will go to Patiala and survive within Sikh community, Punjabis, you know, the kind of aggressive, you know, a kind of, you know, loud communities and all those things. Which only every parent, I also <laughs> suffer, and we also suffer, I say. yes. Only to realize a girl from Assam and that to a wife of one of my very known close friends, she has become, she is already an assistant professor in that National Law University, a girl from Assam, LLB from Aligarh Muslim University, PhD from National uh, Nalsat, I think, or National Law University Bangalore, one of the top two top. And now she is an assistant professor. You don't need to have get into law. If you have the quality, you can go there. So I was pleasantly surprised that my own Assamese sister is a professor there. So now I am feeling relaxed. It's a kind of mental relaxation. So the travel we can far. Uh, and I think 
in all this uh, UDF uh, route, many of my ex erstwhile ex-colleagues and friends are very, uh, you know, demoralized or very heartbroken. But there is something which is coming out of this. Post-1957, when the Muslim community was facing the biggest, you can say, onslaught of British Rath, because they, they participated, the Bahadur Shah Safar led that Sipoy Mutini or something like that, if we had. So, that time, Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan said that we don't need to do politics, we have to study. And he, uh, he, he started a Mohammedan Anglo Oriental College, which is now Aligarh Muslim University. So, we have to go back to this. And one good shining, we, we, I see that whenever political, now you see that the last whole week there was a big viral, uh, you know, Twitter viral was what? There is not a Muslim minister in the cabinet, Modi cabinet. Why you need a Muslim minister? to do some connection, to do something. Once that door is shut, the father or the mother or the brother will come home and tell, study well, know all connections in Lash Gate, in Janata Bhavan, all connections are cut. Now either you study well, OMR shit is done well, then you get your job. And if you do your <laughs> OMR properly, you enter into any medical college. Even in, uh, Recently I went to Nilambajar College Nilambajar, in the, there is a uh, medical health center, community health center uh, hospital, uh, the government of Assam. I enter into, I find the doctors from Dhubri, Gwalpara, all, all over. In fact, I, 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 I told my Sileti community in Karimgarh that very soon you will lose your shine. The education was our forte. But very that soon we was are... the, no, That was the background which you think the normal... Uh, Muslim population who generally are very politically active, very sensible and very, very uh, strong in their decision have outright rejected uh, Badruddin Azmul's politics and AUDF has and gone for more about livelihood and skill and just voted for Congress. That political, uh, what do you call it, political support or well, they have gone that because Congress can be an alternative, not Azmul can have, be an alternative. So if they have thrown Ajmal here, they have thrown BSP into into the sea this time. BSP given the largest number of Muslim tickets. When you create, and this reaction is very normal, you see, there is a there is a very famous poem by Tagore that there were, uh, the, 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 in the, the sea is going and an old lady with her, her grandchild has gone into the sea for some Tirtha Jatra. So tempest came in between. So the Panditji in the ships, he said that there is a papi who is going, you know, somebody has stolen something and that's why the tempest is trying to, you know, destroy the ship. So we have to find out that thief who has stolen something. Now this grandmother was accused that she has taken the son or the grandchild without permission. So they have to throw that child into the sea to save the ship. Muslim community of Assam is trying to find out that if I can, if we can throw Ajmal in Brahmaputra and somehow BJP, Congress will win. And I always say uh, the enthusiasm in Karimganj was something like that. And now people are making me viral, you know, post what has happened. That for every person in Karimganj, it was like uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi ji was uh, waiting somewhere around Badarpur to become prime minister. Only Karimganj seat has to be won. Only because of this, he was stuck. So that was enthusiasm and this is how it is. They will find another villain. After 10 years, they will find maybe another villain that the community itself. And they will say all are same and all these things. It is too much. Not 75 years, no political leadership and the kind of quality of leadership we have created across the party line. Uh, it's damning. The, the MP, from uh, MP from Kairana, one of the very famous young Muslim women face. She has studied in Lady Shriram College. She has done her master's in London, University of London. And she came back to politics in 2021. And in 2024, she is member of parliament from Kairana, one of the one of the India's you know most uh, you know politically and Muslim dominated seats. If she comes to Karim, ask where you where have you been? She is a lady. She was in London. Ah. Yeah. We did not see her during the last Bihu or Eid distributing foods. Why should we give vote to her? So our political uh, thinking is still uh, very 
uh, for, for for a minority Muslims in India, I always say I'm a bit cynical might be, but with a lot of thinking, I say this. It is like an IPL match. Watch coming it. to Enjoy it to yeah. your own. No, you have given such a wider, nice picture, so that an understand uh, viewers can easily understand the whole uh, situation of Muslim in Assam as well as in India. Now coming back to the Dhupri said again. Uh, Asmol was always the pro bono kind of a helper for the BJP. Yeah, for the rest of Assam, Asmol was a devil. Asmol chip in Sabanjayang. That's what a very interesting coin. And yesterday only came to know from Aminul Islam that he saw huge signboards and holdings in Golaghat. And he said, I never paid for that. I am the person who was supposed to put up uh, holdings. And, but upper Assam, I saw someone else had put up Asmol's uh, holding. That means so, so interesting and good. Asmol's face. Some people, some people printed posters. We never know. Even during when I was, uh, you know, Aminul is my, uh, you know, successor. I was DS yeah. organizer for past five years. So uh, sometimes some press people say thank you for the order. We never ordered any poster with Asmol's face. <laughs> so <laughs> coming from that, that you know, the BJP will be needing one more devil because this time Gorob had done well in Upper Assam. Definitely, uh, and the Gog and Ahom communities both definitely are not in a very strong position. That's why BJP is going extra mile to, to please the Ahoms. They have, sometimes they have constructed a big statue. Sometimes they are ordering 52 episodes of documentaries in Lashid Borkakon. Obitra Margheta also has become union minister. But in that context now, but that is not enough. They will be needing extreme polarization, defeat. Resurgence, resurgence Congress in Upper Assam, so that they will be needing someone in Dhubri. So another Dhubri, they will. Dhubri uh, or anyway. Will that anyway, be the man who defeated Asmol, that is Rafi Bulu Singh? Scarecrow. I call it scarecrow politics. You show a scarecrow to get the bird fly somewhere. Now, the thing is that it has a shelf life. This has been a constant discussion. Uh, my whole focus in London School of Economics is political communication. And I'm, I'm, I'm very soon publishing a book looking at how political communication was done for polarizing. And I was almost concluding like it worked as a shelf life. And uh, I was uh, concluding that it will, it will work out, win out after some time. It happened from Hitler onwards. Uh, you cannot sustain... Uh, for a long time on hate politics. We have to do something on the ground. Now, uh, but uh, the UP has shown already that it is leaning. See, yes. if any anything you continue to repeat and continue to make, uh, people at some point of time, it is just like a baby crying. You can make it stop crying for a few seconds by saying that there is a tiger coming. The baby will stop out of fear. But if you continue to say babies, that baby will become very clever after uh, one week or two weeks. So mother should know how much the baby will take. The tiger is coming. Please, please silent. How long it will take that? It has a shelf life. In political researches, it has been found that when you go on it, these are called narrative reverse polarization technique. That you suddenly say Mangal Sutra Chin Lega Kui or something or go to Muslim area and say BJP comes, you cannot give Azan or you cannot pray, your masjid will be closed. It, it, it is done by everybody in a subtle manner. Somebody does it, overdo it, but everybody does it. And this has a very, very uh, limited shelf life. And uh, because of the socio political, uh, you can say larger globalization, internet, people are looking at things, people are looking at uh, opportunities which are coming knocking at door back home which were earlier not available earlier what was our opportunity you, you, you know an MLA or some MP and there are some teacher posts coming in Kaili Pada around DPI office some lists are coming up these were our you know predominant channels uh, but now these are gone now if you, you ask anybody who can afford some money I could help some students he's asking for NEAT now NEAT is a hard burn I'm feeling out. we, we we pinned our hope on it. Now, so this is uh, this is going to be for the time being uh, a kind of restriction and Muslim communities and Dalit communities also. They kind of think that protection will come. They react in two ways again. One is called what is called Stockholm syndrome. 
So that a part of it happened in uh, Ratabadi and Patarkandi. A large number of people live in forest areas, so they are captured by the uh, by the force. So they always fear if I do not vote, if my village does not show. But even then, it is a, it is just as much you know to save their skin. Our center now I have sent data 120, 150. 650 but 125 they have given to you know to show the local MLA that yes we are with you. So explain to but one more thing. Uh, is, uh, uh, let me complete all that. The number two reaction yes, yes. is one is to surrendering. So Karimganj wins, BJP wins a huge number of Muslims have voted for the BJP in Karimganj. So that is one surrendering technique. But where they can, they will backlash. Dubri is the backlash. 10, 10 lakh plus votes backlash. So in only in the my question was my question was that Koringos, Koringos is two and a half to about three lakhs is a Muslim most higher in the uh, Hindu community, but not only it became close, it became so close. And there is also possibility of some sort of a some sort of a <laughs> indication of breaking also is possible in Koringos. But tell me why forget about breaking for some moment. Why so much for Muslims? This is very scientific. This is very scientific. You install uh, CCTV cameras in particular spots to reduce people to give votes. In rural areas, how people go? One person goes from the family, all the party election agents are sitting there, presiding officer is a known school teacher from neighborhood and uh, somebody who does not want any trouble in between 10 to 5, he wants to go home safe. So ultimately they say, okay, his family will give 5 votes, his family will 4 votes. Ultimately, you'll get hold of 100 votes and you'll say, no, this, if you give this 100 also, there will be report. So, if this up to 90%. So, look at the percentage of the board. So, technically, they put a CCTV camera. Now, this presiding officer is saying, my, my job will be stick. This time, I cannot help. You have to physically come and vote. Now, where those CCTV cameras are put is the question. So, this is technically done in Muradabad. In many places, it is done. You tighten the checking point a bit, you can reduce the community's vote, particular areas. It is done with that. There is no Hindu Muslim about it. No, oh, it no, is done with Dalit. Is this tactic no, is done scientifically with Dalit community also. But my question to Aharul was that why so much of people, Muslim people had voted for BJP in Karimdam? Out of fear, favor or some kind of different uh, rigging? No, actually this much vote will go uh, uh, because of two three things, what, as I said, it is the Stockholm syndrome. So all the thikadars, the contractors, the people who are in a contract with government and uh, in working, no, all were given subtle indication that uh, now you take ten lakh rupees, you are working everything, you are BJP karmakarta, minority morcha, everything, but you have to show the and look at the situation where a local MLA can say that. Uh, after the result, please see if the bulldozer come to your home. So that is a very subtle way of saying it. And uh, this is no big deal. If you go to Hyderabad, you will find communities voting for MIM like this. They have to leave. I am, coming to the, yeah, I am coming to the towards the end of my program and discussion with you. Is there a chance of revival of AUDF and Asmol after this backlash? I see it as if there is a quality change in the kind of leadership, people can think of a pragmatic way of maintaining balance like, you know, you cannot be a minority politician or a Dalit politician in India or even if I always bracket three communities together and gender, women politician in India and Try to, you know, put the butter on the both sides. Either you be very strongly opposed, you will face the music, but your community will stand with you, you are there. But you cannot be a community leader at the same time you are seen as a kind of, you know, having a very cozy relationship with the other side, which the community fears. Or you suddenly, or you convert of what is happening is that ultimately you see, at this point of time, people's hope was so much and every time that 
okay the upa is come the and the india gathbandhan is coming it was it, it went down in around december when they lost uh, madhya pradesh rajasthan etc but with a figure like hafiz rashid choudhry the hope they yeah, right again people look after him as a kind of very learned person and people hope that he will reach parliament and because the numbers is there but very tactically the voting was done and because and there is no you know there is no shying away from the fact that islam number of muslims have voted for voted for bjp the next 5 years will be an experiment see when you are giving votes in karimganj there is a gentleman who is saying and that okay because uh, the muslims will never vote for this party how much you can gain how much you can gain the faith and trust of the party itself it is a matter to be seen right now people are saving their skin my friend Very question clear. to you i saw in in, uh, in my in my hatigao neighborhood i saw a guy who used to be a very strong congressman and i saw him doing some contract work so i said oh, how how is it work because he is a muslim boy and i th- i just wanted to know on the ground how a contractor is getting job or not or something like this are muslim so much out of food or out of bread because bjp has come you say nothing he put out a card he is some bharatiya janamurcha ka something he has put up a visiting card he is holding a post in some bjp party so he knows how to get his work done money has no religion so yeah, ultimately yeah, like either education or make your money if you can if you can drive a car i told karim and everybody that if you can drive a car nicely you will earn more than an assistant professor today in india a good driver in delhi earns more than a lakh but you do have to know gps your dress should be you, know, you should be knowing the engines of the latest car you will be driving a bmw not maruti 800 so you must know and read the instruction manual and everything so if you are if you do something very good now this question Is answer it? and your your this answer and your first answer almost same that's why my last question will be based on that that uh, muslims peoples tremendous hours of earning livelihood and skill and subsequent diminishing interest in political affairs so in that way the muslim will not play a very significant role in assam in, in next future uh, elections what do you think about anyway the numbers are not with them as i said more more cynically muslim should for to my mind the muslim should take this you know the parsi way the jews way or the way of what you can say just watching this as a kind of ipl match you don't get into it too much enjoy it from there somebody will win so somewhere some uh, one day you will find mohammed siraj is winning that day you will have so you have dubri other players are from other places they will also win kohli will be always there so that is modi you will be the captain enjoy the play who is winning don't get into heart and tune rahul gandhi is or mayabati or lalu jada look at uh, look at the domination yeah, that while congress is crying foul that there is a, not a single muslim minister in the cabinet they don't explain why there are not a single muslim nomination from maharashtra where the muslims vote so uh, nobody is your friend friend only you, you 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 have your you have your faith in some some power you believe in and you try hard to do what is you are doing best you cannot call yourself a driver and suddenly when i say put gps and take me to uh, maskwa ats center you cannot type it you start asking people then you are not fit to drive my car or if you are a professor you did your phd but you have not studied well your own subject if i say give a lecture on half an hour on political theory of plato how many of a ma political science phd will give a lecture within preparation of one hour means the depth of plato is not there you are ma ma political science phd a professor or lecturer in some college but do whatever you are doing the best person is getting money today that's the point point is and th- when you are doing best you will face some discrimination here and there somewhere you will face discrimination as a bengali somewhere you will face discrimination as a chinese from northeast 
somewhere you will face in discrimination because you are not brahmin somewhere you will face discrimination because you are a brahmin so uh, you are the oppressor for last 5000 years so sometime you will be so there will be some shades of discrimination which you feel but the idea is that politics you can do only when your education and economy are stronger otherwise you can have the cabinet minister a muslim but you will not find a person to actually draw the policy because you don't have enough is officer to be chief uh, chief secretary or principal secretary when the last time we saw a chief secretary from the community so what you will do so ultimately ultimately we have to prepare ourselves and whatever you are doing do good and this is i think the best i say blessing coming from the modi government or bjp government that at least our mind has gone to the other side at least people are under fear also they are preparing themselves the refugee communities which i lived in my childhood in silchar one of my friend who is from the, the, the same community uh, living in low lying land he's a vice chancellor last month he became vice chancellor from i can imagine where from he is struggling one of the best mathematician the gort university and our generation has produced but because there was a survival and i am living here in another area udham singh nagar in kashipur most of the, the sardarjis they have come from pakistan and because it was backyard of just like dhubri gualpara this is the backward of uttar pradesh so they dumped all the sardar refugees into this corner now this is the richest district 130 companies are within one subdivision kashipur it is not even a district because Imagine. they are because their survival was threatened we so called uh, karimganj silanjia or some <laughs> they are we have land we don't have to have any worry uh, for a master ji's job police inspector aps many of my friends eh? aps is coming means 40 50 lakhs you arrange that was the music few years ago hopefully this time women are coming up i, I have seen some people from very uh, ordinary background humble background they are cracking it one of my own relative cracked and i am i'm always shouting at my daughter that with all these facilities how hard it was to make it to top in law school of india and that girl has cracked neat and going to be in government medical college and she is from shalchapra one of the one of the you can say uh, rural area interior rural of india uh, india Assam, Kachhar, Kachhar के भी वो प्रांतिक बहुत at age of and from there she is cracking meat. Her mother has no idea what is meat. Her father has no idea what is meat. She herself has ingrained that one. So that is where we are going. And I think uh, good or bad, uh, the political uh, upheaval has only pushed the community towards that. Thank you, Barul. One second is very extremely pleasurable talking to you and giving a broader perspective. The whole Muslim psychology and what exactly you are saying is the finest description of that because this. Many of the many of the and many of the things I told, uh, I have studied the, the the Hindu community's voting pattern in Bangladesh because it was cheaper economically to go there. I've seen the European one, the minority how they vote. I have. I talked to some of the best Black American community. Our Fulbright Scholar was here last last year. We he hosted we hosted him here. The professor of political science from University of Alabama. It is the same reaction. Condolence, and I I want to give this story for the for your audience uh, for your audience. Uh, there is a very good biography. It was suggested by none other than late Abdul Muhyi Majumdar to me. Uh, ordinary, extraordinary people. Condoleezza Rice, the Black Minister, Secretary of State of America, when she was going to school, when she was going to school in her childhood, uh, the white people used to, you know, spit on her. That was the ignominy with which she used to go to school and come back to school. They used to stand near, and when she is walking past by, they used to spit on her because black girl going to school was a big dhabba. It was a big spot. every time the parents gave her a bath and gave her a fresh set of cloth every day and asked her to sit in the table and study 
that girl rose to that position university of yale professor of law and then secretary of state muslim communities are not facing that trouble not as bad as that rather you are not using most of the opportunities you have got free the schools the textbooks we have to work on that or any community for that matter we have to work on that there is no alternative to this thanks for giving this insight i am sure uh, this will have a tremendous kind of an uh, impact on the normal people and you rightly say this education is the most important thing and i could see right from morigaon in taboka hojai but uh, definitely parak delhi and dhubri even the aps this year is topper is from dhubri and the muslim girls that's the say that two years back the topper was from halakandi you know i remember <laughs> anyway, one second thank you very much and i will keep coming to you for various thing and because you have such a beautiful insights and definitely it will be so enlightening for the people of assam and all my audience this is good for me i you know you have like people. 30 interactions over the year then i have my book ready I'll uh, just add some. Uh, I'll add some more paragraphs to it. More uh, thanks data and graphics. And thanks to technology, we are also being able to reach out to so easily. It's not possible. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ilya. Thank just any other thing? Nice. Just wait for uh, uh, yeah. Mm. And see you soon. Sure.